Hello. 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 You know, when we started ASP, the whole idea was just to find a place where folks could get to sing dancers and help engage with their electorate and, and hopefully be moved to be more involved and have conversations around things that matter. And you know, the, I'd say, Chris, one of the cooler things about working with Close Up is they brought you all to the table, uh, which are first time voters that are the people that really people need to hear from, not quite frankly, Chris or I. Well said. We're really excited to be doing this with MTV, who has been committed to voter engagement for as long as I can remember. Even when I was a little kid watching MTV, the commercials were always blasted all over TV around this time. Uh, so so we're, we're proud to be partnering with them. Now we should dive in. Mark, take it away. So in 2016, right, less than 50% of all the young Americans between the ages of 18 and 29 voted. Are people more engaged and more excited this year than they were in 2016? Yes, I really do think that young people are excited to vote. All of my friends on social media and um, in person are just excited and talking about these issues, uh, which I did not see back in 2016. What, what's, what's the issue that inspired you guys to vote this year? A racial equity. Gender equality, gender equity. Just in general, voting for politicians who will advocate for measures that effectively combat climate change. I think that racial equity is so tied in with health care and with climate justice um, and with gender equality. And there are so many things that, that racial equity encompasses. And so that's a really big issue for me uh, when I'm voting. Where do you pull your information before you guys go to vote? Where do you guys go to, to educate yourselves? I mean, if I'm being honest, like when I'm scrolling on social media, sure, different pieces of information come up. But it's really important to me to fact check those with organizations that I can trust to be reputable, maybe the New York Times or Reuters, or looking actually at a starting point. After our first conversation, it was a great resource to be able to like see information from both sides. Every time I speak with you guys, I feel so inspired. I mean, it, it really does bring me a sense of confidence knowing that there's this much focus and, and motivation between uh, coming from the next generation. And uh, I don't know, this is just so fantastic. I think we should really thank Close Up for doing this with us. I know Close Up has been dedicated to getting civic engagement you know, year round for a long time now and, and to MTV. So thank you to all you guys and, and thank you for what you're doing. And, and please, please stick with it because we need you.